landlord saves the lives of his tenants. Officers rescue a man from a burning car, and an amusement park ride is anything but amusing. Fox 5 Alex Whitler joins us with what's making headlines across America today, Alex. Yeah, hey, good afternoon to you, Christine. A Michigan landlord found two tenants passed out from an opioid overdose, but luckily he got them just in time to call 911. The landlord had gone to the house to collect overdue rent. He found the tenants passed out and white powder all across the table. The landlord immediately called 911 and deputies used Narcan to revive the couple. Emergency workers took them to the hospital. The landlord has filed an emergency eviction saying he doesn't want this kind of drug use in his homes. Understandable. Also in Michigan, sheriff's deputies arrested a teacher for smuggling illegal contraband to inmates at the county jail. The sheriff says Meredith Layer smuggled 135 pills of fentanyl, six cans of weed wax hidden in Fredo's bags, and a cell phone. All all of this went to an inmate. She's accused of using that phone to make more than 350 calls to nine other inmates. Layer is a high school teacher who also instructs the Ignite job training program at that jail. Dramatic video of officers in Texas pulling an unconscious man from a burning car. Dash and body camera footage video shows the officers dragging the man away from danger. This happened over the weekend. The car had hit a pole and caught fire. Police say the driver got out, but the passenger was unconscious. Both the driver and passenger went to the hospital. They are expected to survive. And you heard Christine say this amusement park ride was anything but amusing. That's definitely true. The Music Express ride at Rye Playland malfunctioned and started spinning backwards. Witnesses say this went on for about 10 minutes. The ride operators tried to use to emergency to stop while onlookers helplessly watched. Eventually, maintenance crews disconnected the ride's power source. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt and the ride has closed while the park and the manufacturer look into the issue. But, Christine, I always remember that was the point of those rides is you go forward for a little yeah, bit and then say, you go backwards for a little uh, bit. For that ride in particular, yeah, I remember going yeah. forward and backward yeah. on it. That was kind of part of the fun. But, yeah, if you're not anticipating that, I doubt it was fun yeah. for those folks on that ride. A little ride. 10 minutes too long. <laughs> right. Thanks, Alex. Uh -huh.